U.S. news in focus. The European Union this week will likely adopt the most ambitious plan yet to reverse global warming. It calls on every country in the EU to cut greenhouse gas emissions 20% by the year 2020. That lofty goal has a lot of entrepreneurs eyeing the emerging and lucrative clean energy market in Europe. One of them is an American who's already demonstrating revolutionary solar technology in one of the gloomiest spots on Earth, Wales. Here's Sheila McVicker with the second part of our series, Global Warming, Cool Solutions. What better place to prove your solar panel product than in one of Europe's wettest countries, Wales? Who would ever think about using solar to charge a cell phone or to charge a computer? Especially in the rain. Or in the snow. It totally changes the availability of renewable energy to folks all around the planet. I want to thank you. Robert Hertzberg is a former speaker role. of the California Assembly and once uh, ran for mayor of Los Angeles. We start to lay down the process. Now a green entrepreneur is still building his factory in Wales. Hertzberg's idea? Use innovative Swiss technology to make flexible, even miniature solar panels that are sensitive to any light. So effective, say company executives already promoting their product, you can power everything from cell phones to laptops to shelters for homeless disaster victims. It works indoors as well as outdoors. Indoors? That's amazing. It is amazing. The best place for investment in this innovation is here in Europe, says Hertzberg. So from sunny California to wet Wales, what you're finding is a, an, an environment that's more receptive. More receptive. Europe, the, the financial markets are more receptive. There's a deeper understanding. Wales was historically home to the dirtiest energy industry, coal. The closed mines are monuments to old energy. Now Wales, like the rest of Europe, has set a high bar. They want to be 20% more climate friendly in 2020. Much of Europe looks to the success of the Germans, another typically cloudy country. But Germany is by far the world's biggest user of solar panels. German homeowners can actually sell the excess electricity their panels produce back to their main power grid. Imagine making money on your electric bill. New energy means big business here, and one reason is access to big bucks with fewer spins attached. Dozens of American companies have come here to London and the ultimate investment market, where less regulation means raising capital is cheaper and easier. Michael Liebreich calls the alternate investment market the development market of choice. His own booming company offers information on good green energy investments around the globe. In yet another indication of how much Europe has to teach the U.S. The U.S. can and should be a world leader on energy efficiency. Liebreich was on Capitol Hill today testifying about what Europe does better to a newly receptive Congress. They're playing catch up pretty fast and they want ideas on how to accelerate um, the U.S.'s uh, rollout of clean energy. Uh, and the perception is that we know more about it in Europe because we've been doing it for longer. Well, there's a great sense of urgency in Europe. They're pushing hard to try to do everything possible to green up. While leaders in the U.S. are slowly admitting that global warming is a problem now supported by fact, Robert Hertzberg's solar cells suggest that small things can lead to big solutions and even bigger bucks. Sheila McVicker, CBS News, Wentlock, Wales.